Uh, so we're down in Rocky Point uh, over in Norwell uh, and today we're doing the first of our validation trials for the six easy steps. Uh, this work we've been developing it along with Bernard Schroeder and John Panitz, uh, developing the six easy steps guidelines for Rocky Point over the last couple of years uh, and today really is the, the starting point of getting that on farm. So putting out two of these this year uh, and hopefully over the next couple of years we'll have a few more around the district as well. Yep, so the trials themselves, uh, we're comparing the Six Easy Steps recommendation to what the growers would normally or traditionally uh, do on these particular blocks. So some of these demonstrations or, or trials in this case um, really are quite different in what the fertilisers are that are going out. Uh, traditionally some of these have been quite nitrogen heavy blends with very little either potash or potassium within it. Um, but we've noticed just these first two trials that we're putting out, the requirements for, for phosphorus in particular are, are very high. Um, so that's something that the growers haven't been putting out over time, um, so it's quite a big change for them to do this. So Ben was a, uh, a big reason that not only these trials are here, but the whole Six Easy Steps development has occurred for Rocky Point. So between Ben and, and Josh Keith, um, really driving the need uh, and the desire to have some sustainable uh, nutrient guidelines for the Rocky Point industry. Uh, really, that's where it, it all started. Hey Ben, so do you want to tell us a little bit why like the Six Easy Step is important to you and why yourself and Josh were like pushing towards it? Um, a couple different reasons. Number one, I, um, I think it's a great um, thing for this area. Um, firstly through f profitability, but going further sustainability and also through environmental impacts um, and if I can save money doing the right thing why not so one of the things through the process thus far was to um, uh, sample uh, your soils and do soil analysis quite systematically um, how's that has changed from before to now yeah. for you so before we probably only did one or two soil tests a year um, and then if it was a bad year, maybe none at all. Um, but we've gone, this year I think we've done seven soil tests um, and possibly even doing a couple more this year. So, um, and my main reason for doing that is I'm actually finding that my soils are a lot different than what I thought. Uh, not, this soil isn't the same in this paddock as the next door paddock, it's, they're all different. We've been uh, working with you, developing the guidelines now for 12 months. Mm -hmm. uh, we're doing the validation trial today, and in the planning phase, turned out that like we got a rate that was more or less the same that what you'd already changed. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the big things was that we actually had to ask you to put more on. Yep. Because I used to, three years ago I was 180 units N, last year I dropped it to 170, this year I've dropped it to 160 across, across the board. Um, now, I honestly think that I'm probably just slightly ahead, because um, I'm only putting 160 units N, but putting the extra um, uh, phosphates and um, uh, potassium that I need. Um, so hopefully with that I'm slightly better, but if I can get an increased crop yield, well, how much better would I be?